Okay, I think it's finally working. Good afternoon. It is 1.26 p.m. Mountain Time on what today is Friday, December 24th, 2021, Christmas Eve. I am reporting to you from Colorado where I have traveled to be with my family. I'm at my dad's house right now, Christmas tree. I have just dealt with a lot of really frustrating Windows updates and uh, software updates and program updates and firewalls. And now I think it's actually working. <sighs> um, I didn't record this morning because I was just dealing with uh, family stuff, like good family. Like, you know what, let's see, pancakes uh, with my uh, two and a half year old niece or recording a video. I think I made the right decision. Uh, but yeah, here I am uh, at my dad's house. Um, we we said hi to various people already, but we don't have anything else like planned um, for tonight. So my dad and I are just going to hang out. We'll probably watch a movie or something. And then tomorrow, uh, going over to be with my brother and sister-in-law and niece some more. And uh, then we'll go see some of my extended family. I think I think it'll be good. Um, so travel was not the most fun. Um, certainly I'm, you know, as anxious about it already, but you know, pretty much people, you know, I was double masked with the surgical mask and the cloth mask over it. And I basically didn't take it off for the whole trip. And, uh, pretty much people were being pretty good about masks as far as I could see. Um, I didn't see a lot of people with it down, you know, below their nose or taking it off when, you know, or just like defying the rule. Uh, pretty much everyone I saw had the mask on unless they were like actively eating. Um, so, you know, hopefully, eh. well, and, and on the plane, the air is very filtered and recirculated. So it's actually a lower risk there, but, um, but yeah, in the airport with crowds and it was definitely crowded. Um, and my flight was already supposed to get in late and then uh, we had to sit around for 45 minutes waiting for the ground crew to let us pull away from the gate. So that was annoying. But, yeah, you know, I did get a chance to watch a couple of good movies on the plane, though. I watched um, Candyman, the 2021. Uh, I keep wanting to call it a remake, but it's technically just a sequel to the original horror movie. I'm pretty sure that it ignores all of the one, all of the movies in between. It's just the original and this one. But I thought that was pretty good. Um, I, you know, the if you're, I don't know. I'm not going to get into any more about it than that. Like, if you're interested in horror movies, you probably already know. And if uh, uh, if you don't, you could find. Watched Pig, which is a new. Uh, newish Nicolas Cage movie. It was from earlier this year, uh, where he's this guy who lives out in the woods with a truffle pig, who digs for truffles and then he sells them to fancy restaurants. And uh, the pig is his only companion out there. But then, oh no! One day, two people break in and steal the pig, and so now he's got to get the pig back. But here's the thing about this movie: it's wonderful. But especially given that premise, I think that there are a lot of ways that we are kind of conditioned to expect that story to go. And uh, in, in particular, to assume that, that that is going to include violence at some point. And this movie is aware of that sort of conditioning and expectation and kind of uses that to tell a story that's a little different and I, and I don't want to spoil too much because I think it's good, but I think what I was so delighted by in this movie is there's, there's a depth of feeling there. Nicolas Cage is doing great as a, a character who's taciturn in the extreme, but when he really has something to say, he says it. Um, and the movie is really good at, like I said, engaging with sort of the audience expectations for what might happen, but then going another way. And uh, it's really lovely. I, I, I highly recommend it, honestly. Um, it's really good. 
Uh, but in the meantime, I'm finally getting this video done, and then we're going to figure out something to watch and eat some fried chicken, and uh, I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. Merry Christmas, if you celebrate. If not, you know, like, have a happy holiday season and uh, enjoy whatever activity you choose.